So, hello everybody. What is going on dude? today? It's Kiba Shimaki here and welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 3. Last time, we had some issues fighting... Well, we scaled the Fanatics Tower, took care of the Holy Dragon, the Pearl Dragon, the White Dragon, and obtained a good handful of items and things like that. Unfortunately, we are in quite a dire situation where we have to fight the Magi Master once more. The Magi Master once again. Oh gosh. Yeah, we had some difficulties fighting him the first time. So, now we're back. I'm gonna try it again and hopefully do what we need to do. Let's take the gem box. Let's get out of here. Now, I think. Is it already automatically in our inventory? Just check. Pearl lands, air anchor. We com enemy becomes self destructive, yeah. Magic defense up, changes magic into X magic. So we have it already. I could equip it, but only Celeste would be able to use it. Nah. I'll hold off on it. Let's move. We have seen this cutscene again. We're stuck here witnessing it before, but yes, we scaled the Fanatics Tower. The Cult of Keska showing in full force. Now we have to go ahead and hopefully defeat the Magi Master as we had planned. Can't enter inventory, can't pause anything. <laughs> Must fight. There we go. Round two. This time we're going to take things a bit differently. But what I mean is we're going to cast Berserk straight away onto the Magi Master. As for our other allies, we're going to have them marked with Reflect, just so that way they have some sort of safety guard for the time being. Even though it won't do, it won't really help us that much. I'd rather just do that and have ourselves well equipped. It sucks that he can't do much. The reason why I'm having um, our allies more so cast Berserk right away is because the tight situation that we are in doesn't allow us to do much else except kind of just dish out all the damage that we can <laughs> in the immediate turn possible. Using Berserk on him prevents him from swapping his um, weaknesses, immunities, and vulnerabilities. So this kind of gives us a great opportunity to just dish out some good damage and keep ourselves pretty high health, only taking 500 per hit. So I don't have to worry about health too badly. Um, we just have to take care of ourselves and make sure we are all well kept and well prepared. He has a grand total of 50,000 health and a grand total of 50,000 MP. So you can go about this battle one or two ways. You can either drain his health or drain his MP with Osmos and Rasp. Entirely up to you, but again, keep that in mind as you dish out damage. You know what I should be doing is I should be, since we all have Reflect, I should be using Bolt on the, on the entire party so that way we can just be healing ourselves. Is that on you? Okay, 1942, I think it does about the same. Let's try Bolt 3. See how much damage that'll do. Well, if I use it on ourselves, will that help or hurt us? That's like the big question in my head. Am I doing more damage or am I doing less damage? Three, four, 42k. Ah, uh, seems just about the same. 4200, I mean, but yes, those seems just about the same. No real difference. So it'll be better to just attack him directly. So, yeah, let's just keep on wailing, but this is all that we can really do. <sighs> I know I drowned out last episode and I kind of cut a bunch of stuff up. I mean, I didn't really go over anything too specific. All I really said was we just need to watch out for his attacks. You can take this normally by using just standard magic. But be forewarned, he will change his 
weaknesses with wall change every now and again, so keep that in mind, scan him whenever he does that, and be prepared. If you want to have a slightly easier time, of course, just use Berserk on him so that way he at least hits you for like 300 to 500 health per attack that he does, but you'll be dealing out a good amount in return. Let's go ahead. And I think we can start casting a pace on everyone else, or at least on these two in the middle. Uh, let's use bolt two. Use potion on yourself, just so you move a bit faster. <coughs> have you use? Well, have you just use bolt three? It's a lot better for you to use bolt three than haste right now. Have you use haste now? On Celeste. Bolt 2. I don't know how much damage I've done, I don't know how much I've actually put in, but I'm still going to keep trying to dish out as much damage as possible. And hopefully take him down as soon as possible. Be forewarned, when you get him to the very end, when he is completely done, finished, out of health, huh, he will cast Ultima. This is why I recommend having Palador! I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Terra, Terra, Terra. I was so worried about that. I was so worried that that was gonna happen, and it happened. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> that was like the last thing I wanted. Gosh, I gotta have to rescale the whole tower. Let me choose right over there. Okay, I think I'm at a pretty okay spot. Finally back. He's Ice 3. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on Terra. Palador? Sonic Dive? Oh, yeah, that's what Palador does. I forgot. Now, I gotta hope I do enough chip damage. <laughs> Can't hit anyone, no one's on screen. I've been trying to keep track of a good amount of how much damage I did over time. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh, Celeste is still up there. I think I just barely got it. Ugh. That's what I was trying to do, so I was trying to have everyone else swing. Celeste is still alive. There we go. Get a mega elixir. As our reward for beating it. Not only that, but we also got the damn gem box. Ugh. There we go. The gem box. Now that we have it in tow, what it does is it basically allows us to turn X Fight, or really any magic cast, into X Magic, allowing us to perform two magic casts per turn. That is a really good relic, a really great one that's worthwhile to obtain. So you don't want to definitely miss out on that one. Other than that, let's see, let's move, let's move. And now, now that we're all set with that, now that that's been cleared up, there isn't much else really for us to do and explore in the world. We're kind of, our adventure is slowly coming to a close. Which is really good, really sick, but damn, it's been a long journey and a long trek to get ourselves here with all the errors and stuff, and now we're finally reaching, or slowly, getting to the end of it. Of course, and I'm only barely halfway through the episode, but, or halfway through this episode, but aside from that, our next journey, our next task, our next trial, well, I have some grinding to do off screen, of course. I feel like I should be at least a slightly higher level. But what our next task at hand is going to be the hunt of the remaining dragons. We've handled eight of them so far. Or three of them so far. Treasure, treasure. Has he got any words? For a thousand, I'll tell you about a secret. Who are you talking about? Who sold their hearts to Kefka? All they do is bump around thinking of him. 
Members of the cult of Kefka live in this town. It's something wondrous to stop it. You can only use magic attacks inside, so unless your magic's strong, you'll never make it to the top. Or unless you have Mog in your party. <laughs> Who can just literally ignore all enemy encounters and make it so much easier on yourself. There we go. Whew. Got that down. Now, um, all that really is left for us to do is hunt the remaining dragons. We have tackled the white dragon here within the cultist tower. We've taken care of the red dragon over at the Phoenix Cave. And we've handled the ice dragon in the Narsh Cliffs. The few that remain are the blue dragon within the ancient castle, the dirt dragon or the earth dragon, which is in the opera house south of Jador, which we actually haven't really been to before. And did you guess anything? No. And the last one is actually that's not the last one. And the storm dragon over in Mount Zozo, and the last two remain within Kefka's tower. So very, very specific locations for us to go to. Very tight locations, if you ask me. Very, very difficult locations to go to. There's a strategy with each of, with each of them, of course, as we encounter them. They all have various weaknesses, and they all have various attacks that they follow, separate patterns and such, that we should keep in mind. Of course, the White Dragon we've been we fought up against, and we saw it had no weaknesses, though it was easy to defeat because we only need magic attacks, we had wall rings and reflects, so we were able to take care of it. The fire dragon, or the red dragon, is weak to ice and water, so of course just keep its health or dish out as much damage as possible and kind of keep yourself above with reflects and such. The ice dragon over in Narsh, um, weak to fire of course. There, wasn't, there really wasn't much else that we can do or say about it at the time of fighting it. The two remaining dragons that are in Kefka's tower is the gold dragon and the skull dragon. And you know what? I should probably save somewhere. Let me let me land real quick and let me save just so that way I don't have to worry about potentially ending up in another fight completely uh, caught off guard and all that. Okay. Um, but yeah, blue dragon... I don't know, blue dragon. Um, the gold dragon and the uh, skull dragon are both within Kefka's tower, so those will have to wait unless we decide to pursue into Kefka's tower. Um, really, the only dragon that we can actually probably attempt right now is the storm dragon over in Zozo, but we know that's going to be hellish to do. It's Kefka's tower. That's going to be hellish to do because of just what is there, how high level it was when we ran into it the first time, how easily it sweeped us. I think this is Zozo, isn't it? Right? Yep. The Storm Dragon. We remember running into it before. Remember, we didn't have too much difficulty with it, but still, just something terrifying to note. The Storm Dragon absorbs wind and is weak to light. It attacks with Leaf Swirl, Wind Slash, Arrow, and Cyclonic. Thunder Shields will help. We also have the Minerva. Ooh, could I actually do that? Ah, screw it, I have time. Let's go give it a shot. We have some Tonberries and some... A King Tonberry to take care of. Um, go to Narsh for this. Yep, we're gonna go to a couple places and we're gonna take care of some... I don't know if they'd be considered super bosses, but they are difficult challenges, nonetheless to note. Um, I love full health. I have the Moogle Mill, the Moogle Charm equipped. Don't need the Wall Ring right now. Struggle, you have nothing. Terra, move the Wall Ring as well. Okay. But yeah, next time. Well, not now, but I mean, coming up, we will be focusing on fighting more so the difficult enemies, doing a lot of grinding off screen myself because I need to, I need to do that, and just prepare for our more difficult tasks. It's not really much else to say. It's not really much else I can do at the moment. All I can really do is just kind of grind myself up.
prepare myself for these challenges and yeah so I guess uh yeah let's, let's try to challenge these three tonberries for that Minerva Buster Minerva Bustier that uh we tried grabbing last time we were in the area yep we gotta return to Umaro's cave and even though we could come back here with Umaro I'd rather just save nearby and be ready okay 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 we got this we got this Easy, 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 easy. Got this. Let's go. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I will be honest. I am so not ready for this. But I'm still going to give it an honest shot. Just see how I'll do. Okay. Land. Whoa. I love the theme that plays in this area. Alright. Here it is. The three conberries. What better yet to note than a good old buddy of mine, well, commenter that's been talking to me lately, Veg, Veg Hester, Veg Hester, Veg Hester. I don't know how to say your name. But you're freaking dope, dude. Like, thanks for the advice. Uh, do I have vanish on you? I have vanish on you. Do I have doom on you as well? I do. Vanish and doom. That's a big combination. He's been saying. So, uh, let me equip an Esper on you. Phantom. Yeah. Just for the time being. Let's give it a shot. Three Tonberries. The Pugs, I mean, but yes. The Tonberries. Oh, God. They're coming. No. Mog. Magic. Phantom. Immediately. And then... Fader. Cool. Um, Terra, I need you to... I don't know what Vanish does, but, okay, so it's a party-wise thing. Let's go, alright, let's screw it then, let's just try Doom. Yeah, they can't really hurt us right now, which is nice. Let's try Condemn, see if Condemn does anything. Doom. I'm giving you a shot with random various moves, just to see what works. Nope. Let's try imping them. Screw it. Thankfully they can't hit us right now. Where is it? Imp on the floor. There you go. Uh, uh. Or you can't do much else. We yes, use you. Imp, 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 imp. Aha! And let's try... Jeez, you guys are just wailing. Try level 5 Doom on you guys and see how that goes. I'm just trying whatever I got. That's Requiem. That's a shot. Okay. Now that might be slightly easier for me to handle. But I'm still gonna give it a shot. I don't know what Vanish does. I gotta try. Cave in. Oh yeah. They're inching closer. They can't hurt me. What does Vanish do? Oh no, that just made me visible. I'm a fool. Oh, you are so dead if you get hit. Oh, you are so dead. Vanish. Immediately. Alright, the only thing I can think of then is just heal. Whirlwind. And yeah, okay, I guess I'll just swing. Ah, that was way too close. Whirlwind won't screw us, right? Okay, good. Yeah, okay. The only thing uh, never mind, Miller. I'm a fool. <laughs> I'm a fool. Oh, you are so dead. Oh, I made a big mistake. Give me someone else! Anyone! Oh no! I've made a great mistake! <laughs> Alright, well I thought I'd give this a shot. There's not much else I can think of to do right now. I've made a terrible mistake. Oh! Never mind. Oh no! Yeah, I'm so dead. 
Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I forgot Mom was doing these dances. Snare? Did I do anything? No. And Mom is dead. So, try dooming them. It's the only thing I can think of to do left. Well, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> but that'll be it for now. I'm gonna go... I'm honestly gonna go grind. I'm gonna go grind off screen. I need to get my experience up. I need to be slightly higher level and hope that I can KO these guys or something. Find a solid way to take care of them. I don't know. But yeah, that'll be it for me for now. If this is a failed attempt, this is a failed attempt. Oh well. I'm gonna try off screen over and over again until I find a way to beat the pugs and then hopefully I take care of the king pug over back in Phoenix Cave. But I hope you guys did enjoy now i hope you all continue to enjoy of course <sighs> and i will try exon <laughs> and i will uh i'll catch all you dudes next time peace out everybody <sighs>